I could do it all over again. Starting a capsule wardrobe for the first time, where would I begin? Upon reflection, I'd say I'd probably approach it with a little more intention, sit down and really figure out what my sort of objectives are. I think what I realize now is that when you have those certain guideposts, it helps you make it start. It helps you take that initiative in creating a capsule wardrobe that actually works for me, you know, not a capsule wardrobe that some YouTuber tells you you should have. I do feel like just embracing the key classic pieces, sort of the cliche pieces that everybody does include in their capsule wardrobes, blazer, button up shirt, basic tees. There's a reason for that. These are things that have stood the test of time. These are things that have proven themselves over the years. And these are things that have been translated into every single style type out there. So if you're not comfortable with them, I sort of advise that you get comfortable with them. There's a reason why they're classics. There's a reason why they're the stereotypical essentials. I'll leave it up to you, but there's that. Okay. things that I've realized in my time with style and fashion is how important patience is when it comes to starting and building a capsule wardrobe. I'd say this is one of the most undermentioned tips out there when it comes to starting or creating a capsule wardrobe because I think it is sort of conveyed that this should just be figured out overnight and if you buy all of these pieces that it's all going to be good and worked out and you're good to go and you have to a point that is true however i think if you want to make it something that isn't fleeting if you want to make it something that is long lasting that is sustaining you need patience because you ultimately need to be patient for the things that work for you that work best for you fit wise comfort wise quality wise budget wise So if it is that you need a button-up shirt, don't just buy the first button-up shirt that you see. Take your time to find one that works best for you. So I've now had this shirt for five years and I still get just as giddy to style it as I did when I first got it five years ago. So being patient for the right thing goes a long way. Building a capsule wardrobe is a process, clearly. So if you want to build something long lasting, having key classic pieces as your essentials and as well as that being patient for the right thing for you is all very important. But let's not forget quality. With quality comes long lasting wear and comfort. Being comfortable in your own skin definitely contributes to that confidence. As well as that, when you wear something with design or a, an intentional fit, when there is actual craftsmanship and thought that has gone into these things, it looks way better on you. And in result, makes you feel fantastic makes you feel like the best version of yourself. So if you keep all of this in mind, classic pieces that will translate into any style that you choose, and then investing that time into finding the best pieces that fit you and your preferences, and then finding things that have that quality, then you have a strong foundation. I think the thing that 
took me the longest to realize when creating a capsule wardrobe is that the foundation isn't where it stops. I think you can have a great wardrobe that is just strictly key classic pieces. Definitely nothing wrong with that. And I thought that for a really long time and I maintained that for a really long time. But I think with that, there was a lot of me that was lost. And so I finally realized that I could still have a timeless, sustaining wardrobe, that the classic pieces could ultimately be just the foundation to my wardrobe. And then I could build off of that. I could build off of that with my own personal vision, my own personal expression. And this way I was still able to tell my style story through my wardrobe. The other thing that I realized over time was that nothing is final. It's not like you have to find your specific style type and then that is the style type that you will have for the remainder of your years and that is that. Like everything creative, it's fluid. Changing for different needs, circumstances, preferences, and that is okay. If a house has a good foundation and a design that people love, it's easy and actually encouraged to maintain that and renovate when needed. If I could start again, this is where I'd begin. A capsule wardrobe is more than just clothes. It's a reflection of who I am and how I wanna move through this world. This process should be fun. And in doing that, it has helped it be more enjoyable and sustaining for my own style and for my own wardrobe, which I think is key when you're trying to create something timeless. And really, in embracing that discipline, I have found freedom.